So, uh, it's been a while. And we're just, we're just not going to worry about that. Um, figured it brings everybody something else different today. I got this $20 Harbor Freight Fireman's Hatchet. There we go. Uh, and the sheath on it is garbage. So, uh, I'm going to try and show you how to fix that real quick. This is a really redneck sheath I saw on Reddit years and years and years ago. Uh, need some bungee cords. I just got those cheap ones from Walmart. And then a knife and some garden hose. Uh, so let's get to it. One thing I forgot. You need a hole punch of some sort. Uh, you could use a drill, as my brother suggested. Uh, and optional, a little bit of electrical tape. So uh, first things first, you just find yourself... A little bit of garden hose that's about as long as the bit on that, but you want to leave at least an inch, inch and a half on each side, uh, and then you just want to cut it. So we'll cut that about there, if I don't lose that. There's a little bit of a grime there. I'm not going to figure out what that is. Just cut it. I'll just cut there. And this stuff's pretty easy to cut, even with just a cheap pocket knife like this. So next thing you want to do is make a slit down the belly of your hose here at least as long as your bit, maybe just a hair longer depending on how you want it. Uh, there's not a really good way to show that on camera that also won't involve me stabbing myself so I'm gonna cut here and jump back to it when I've got this done. So what you have when you do that is this then. You can see they've just got the bit in that slit there. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to try and put a hole in here and a hole down here. In theory, you can leave this like it is, um, but I want a little bit more retention on that. So I'm going to go do that and jump back in. So once you've got your holes done, next thing you're going to do is take your cheapy bungee cords here. And you just you could probably undo these with the Leatherman, but I just tried and had no luck. So I'm just... Chopping them off like that. That'll let both your hooks drop off. Like that. And then you just snip off the other end. Uh, in theory, you could probably leave one of those ends on for what's next, but uh, that's just not how I'm going to do it. Uh, then what I like to do is just take my Ronson here, if it'll spark, and just lightly singe either end of that. And what that'll do is just help keep it from coming unraveled. That one I may have done a little too long there, but I was trying to look at the camera. You know how it is. So, once you get that, you want to run it through your hose, like I've got here, through that hole we made. And then tie a knot in the end of it and pull it back through here. And that will keep it from coming out that end. So let me go do that real quick, and uh, then I'll show you what to do next. So just work it in there. Uh, I had to use my Leatherman to kind of spread that hole open. And then you're going to take the side that's going to be inside the hose and put a knot in the end. And I like to get this knot here as close to the end as possible. And then tighten it. And that way you're using the most amount of this bungee cord that you can get a hold of. And then pull it back through, pull it in, and that's not coming out. So what you'll do next is take this and just do an overhand knot with these two loose ends. I will do that and come right back to you. And there you are. You just slip your bit into that slit we made, then take your cord here, stretch it around back, and that'll hold it in place. Very cheap to make. Um, I think the most expensive thing in this was like these uh, bungee cords. Don't even remember how much they cost. They were stupid cheap. Uh, garden hose was free. Um, and yeah, that's just something really easy, really inexpensive to make, and it'll keep you from catching the bit of this axe at the wrong time or having it cut into other gear. Uh, one thing I'm going to do after this is, since I've got this extra room here and up here, I'm going to take a little bit of electrical tape 
and wrap those spots just to ensure that this doesn't split out any. Uh, so I'll do that and jump right back to you. And there it is, the garden hose uh, sheath. Still better than Harbor Freight's garbage there. Uh, but yeah, I've got I got more plans for this little little hatchet here. So uh, stay tuned, Gingy out.